Uh, today I'm going to show you how I made this letter matching game for my toddler. I'm going to make this craft while Mr. Two and a Half was having his nap. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to video this and I'm going to make sure that you guys get to do this craft as well because it was really, really simple game to make. And you don't have to do it with letters, you can do it with numbers, you can do it with whatever you're trying to teach your toddler at the time. It's a great game. And in the end, I just love how it turned out. So stay tuned to see the rest of this video. I found this project so calming and relaxing. Comment below and let me know if that's you in the chat. But yeah, on with this video. I literally decided to find, a, well, I found a piece of cardboard and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna use this cardboard for my craft. Um, I'm gonna cut the sides off and use the sides to be like my ruler. For some reason, I couldn't find my ruler. So I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna use what I have including my scissors, which are currently not actually fabric or paper scissors, but I'm just gonna use them anyway. This is what I have. Um, going forward, I probably will invest in a crafting knife. I think that would be quite nice to have. But yeah, this is my cardboard piece. Obviously, this is the piece I'm using currently. I, going forward, I would have just used a bigger piece, but it is what it is, we use what we have. Then I've got my bottle lids. So you need about 10 milk bottle lids. And starting this process, I realized that I only had nine. So I had to then take another bottle lid from the fridge, which was great. Anyway, making sure that I'm measuring everything out um, is really important to plan, okay? Plan where you're gonna put these things before you glue it down because there's nothing worse than making a mistake, pulling it off and it's just gonna just pull out your cardboard and it's just gonna make a mess. So just plan as you go ahead and think, okay, where do I wanna position these? How far apart? How much space do I have on this card? You know, those kind of questions. So again, I then position them all on the card and realized that I was one short so I had to go back in my fridge and take a milk bottle lid um, and just use that. So things that we do for our toddlers, eh? So yeah, once I made sure that I knew exactly where I wanted this to lay out, I used that piece of cardboard that I cut off earlier and I just used that as my ruler, as my spacer. So I knew the distance I wanted between um, the lids and then made sure again that that was all aligned up as straight as I could get it as possible. I know it's not dead straight because I didn't have a Stanley knife at the time. I just used my scissors that I had. So again, I'm making do of what I have. You may have all the equipment, um, but again, you can just use anything. I'm making sure that my hot glue gun is on and that I glue the inside of the lids. I did this on purpose just so I could create less mess if you glue on the outside, it's just gonna make a whole heap of mess when you put it down and you're gonna see the glue, which is not something that you want. It just, you know, it's not important, but obviously you're doing a craft, you want it to look as neat as possible. And also you want it to be secure because obviously you've got your toddler and your toddler may be a bit rough with the game. Um, you just don't know, so they may drop it. Um, so you just wanna make sure that you don't have to go back and refix these bottle lids because once they are ready and engaged and ready to play you don't want to break the play time because it would be hard for them to then go back into play mode um, and to concentrate in what you the activity that you had out so once everything is dry and in place I then use my cutouts um, I created these already so if you do want this exact cutout that I'm doing now I've done a better design for you, which is actually has the dotted line circles around just to make cutting around your pictures and letters a lot more easier than what I'm doing now. Um, so if you want that, you can click the link below and grab that. Um, that's the printable. But yeah, so I'm cutting around as neatly as I can all of my letters and my pictures and I'm just placing them where I feel that I'd want them to be. I am gonna swap it out and just make sure that I'm happy with how it's set out and make sure that it's easy enough for him to get but not too easy for him to get too bored and I'm just gonna space them out and make that look as good as I can. Once I finish cutting everything out, I'm gonna use 
brick stick which in the end I think I should have used a stronger glue because later on the brick stick did tend to lift so the glue didn't really last as long as I hoped it would so going forward I'd probably say use a stronger glue like PVA glue but the minute I use prick stick so that's what you're going to see me using and I'm just planning out where I'm going to go with these and where I want them to be positioned I'm using five letters and these are the letters that I like to start with when learning to read which is and then I've done the letters next to the pictures so obviously they can match them up and we can have a conversation so if they don't match it up these want to have a conversation about the letters or we can do the sounds together this was just such a great game you guys highly recommend so I've got the elastic bands ready I picked these elastic bands up from Poundland you don't have to spend a lot on this honestly like if you have any elastic bands they don't have to be multicolored. that's just how the packet came um, but if you have whatever you have lying around the house just use and I'm just matching them up now just to make sure that the elastic bands have enough give and they're good like they can actually stretch around the lids just you know nice and easily it's not too tight or too tuggy so my son like a toddler can actually you know pull it with ease and make sure that that is all lined up and then once I'm happy with that then I will offer that to my toddler and then we're ready to play so yeah I was happy overall how it looked and I just wrote a little message on the side to say connect the letters with the picture but just so it's self-explanatory and yeah that's it so I'm just going to go ahead and offer that to my son and let him play with that but overall this was a great activity we are really getting down our letters this year and I'm just enjoying the process of teaching my son his sounds and his reading journey and if you want to follow along um, with our reading journey then that would be really nice to have you guys but yeah let me know how you get on with this activity and if this video was helpful at all then don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next video thank you so much for watching bye for now